On the surface, the Adani deal seems to offer the state, particularly North Queensland, an unprecedented investment in the local economy. But underneath, is it everything it seems to be? Stephen Long from the ABC's business unit takes a look at what's been promised and what's likely to be delivered. Adani's claimed its planned coal mine in the Galilee Basin can go ahead with or without a public subsidy. Yet the billion dollar cut price loan it's seeking from the federal government comes from the Northern Australia Infrastructure Fund. And that's only available to projects that aren't otherwise financially viable. So someone's being misled. It's not yet clear how the vast mining projects would be financed. Australian banks have balked at lending money, international banks too, partly because of the project's environmental impact. Adani's been claiming the project will create 10,000 new jobs all up, with 2,500 to 3,000 jobs at the mine. Yet its own economic modelling, tendered in court, put the boost to employment at fewer than 1,500 jobs, direct and indirect, nationwide. And that was before Adani said it plans to use driverless vehicles from pit to port. Job gains from the mine will be offset by losses in other industries, most notably manufacturing. Then there's the impact on the reef and tourism if burning the vast coal reserves in the Galilee Basin worsens global warming. So on the face of it, there's a promise of jobs and growth, but there's still a whole lot of questions about this hole in the ground. A lightning strike.